I think that's better. Right, so yeah, so this is the light. Um, now it does connect to mains via USB. Uh, for the purpose of just doing this review and somewhere where there's a bit of light, um, I've used my portable uh, power bank, which I also purchased off Amazon. You can check the review on that. Um, so that's not, I'm not, we're not reviewing that, but that's just, uh, just connected it to that just to show you that it obviously works off power bank as well, which is, uh, is very useful. Well, I'm not sure what for, but it could be useful. So this is the light, right? When you first switch it on, obviously this is the, the blue LED, which tells you the time, it's got the date, the, the day, and it's also got the temperature of the room, which is quite useful to have. Now, if you wanted to go to bed and you didn't obviously want that on, you just keep your finger on here for a couple of seconds and it switches it off so you can sleep. So that's it's not a problem. Um, and then obviously you switch it. You can have the lights on without the, you can have the lights on without the screen. So that's the, and again, you have different settings for the light. Still can't quite get that coming. It's better. So that's the first setting and that's the second setting and then that's the really bright setting and again if you want the the blue screen on you just keep your finger on it and it's back on again so it's three touches for the lights if you want this on or off you just hold your finger on it and there we go um, you can put your phone here uh, to change these I noticed that on the back here you have uh, controls buttons uh, that's your, obviously your battery so once you've set it if you disconnect it you've got some time so obviously it'll keep the power it'll keep the the time and the date and everything set in there for you so um that's so easy it is to set so that's obviously you press it the, the first one on the so we're looking at it from face on the first one on the right it's got uh, an arrow down so that changes the temperature from t from uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit. So that's the first one. All right. So now we we'll press the second one. Now that will change from 24 hours to 12 hours. So it's uh, 12 a.m. It's showing on here, and then that's zero zero. So that changes that setting. We'll go across the next one. Now obviously that's where we get to changing the times now. So now we don't want, so we actually want, no it's not AM is it, here we go, so we're now at 13.32, uh, 13 aren't we? Right, so I'm guessing you press this one, that's your alarm, yep. Yeah. And that's if you want it to see 13. I'll probably keep on that one. There we go. There we go. So now we want this is. Oh, no, I've got to press the wrong button. I should think when you're looking at it from behind, it'll be easy. I'm doing it for the. I don't know if you can see, I'm doing it for the purpose of the review, you probably can't even see it anyway to be honest with the light. So we'll just change that to 33 now, so we'll go, there we go. So that's the time set. Let's see how easy it is for the day. So we've done that one, we've done that one. A uh, year. It's not 2018, which it was. We go back a year, that would get rid of all COVID-19. That would be super. So it's 2021. So that's that sorted. Yep. So now we want, we've done the time, we've done that, we've done the year, now the month. So it's obviously the 9th. There we go, that's sorted that one out. And the date is the 6th, I believe. So let's... Go the other way. There we go, Sunday. So as you can see, I just did all that in a couple of minutes, not very hard to do. Now we've got the time. 
I've got it in 24 hours, I've got it on the 9th of the 6th of the 9th, the day and the month, Sunday, and I've also, let's change that back to uh, Celsius, it's 20 degrees in here, it's quite warm today. Um, so that's the, that's the light, like I said you can, you can have this on or off, let's put that back on again, there we go. That's it, so I'll bring it up to the clock, so as we, as up to the phone, so as you can see, I've changed all that now, quite easy to do using these buttons at the back, quite fiddly, you have to remember which one does which, but they're all there, it's easy to do, easy enough, it'd be easier when you actually look in and not concentrate on doing a review. Um, obviously I haven't pulled it out yet, that's the uh, backup battery, for obviously to save all this, um, like I said you can adjust this, up or down depending on how much light you want and where you want the light. Let's put it back on again. So you can you can move it. Put it back a bit. So depending on where you want the light, you can move it up or down. You can even close it completely if you want, and it still gives a little bit of light through. Um, you can also move this forwards, so you can have it. You can have it on a weird angle, you can have it like that. Um, doesn't go backwards, just that's the position. Like I said, you can move this, you can have, have it vertical, like that if you wanted to. You can have it completely vertical, that's the highest one. And then it's off, lowest one. And like I said, if you want this blue one off, you just keep your finger on there power button which is here keep your finger on it turn the light off first All right keep your finger on it and it gets rid of the blue screen and for daytime you can just put it away I think it's quite a it's not very heavy I think it's quite stylish quite a stylish light I've seen myself um, I haven't had it long enough to see what the build quality is like, but it feels, feels nice. I mean, it's only going to be in the bedroom anyway, you know, for when I'm reading at night or doing stuff on the computer. Obviously, I can just have this on, probably on a low setting or something. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed this review. It's been helpful in any kind of way. And, um, like I said, I'm very pleased with this light. Um, so, um, I'm just going to add a little bit more to this review. I've just... <laughs> I feel like a bit of an idiot. I've just realised that this light is not actually. You don't have to have it connected to the mains. It's uh, it's rechargeable. So that's bloody brilliant. Um, I just found a little switch on the back. Yeah, yeah, a little tiny, tiny switch. Can you see that? And it says on or off. Obviously, there's not. You can see there's no power in it now. No power connected, and it's so obviously you can charge it, and then you can still. You can still use it, so that's even better. It's even better than I, I thought it was, because now you don't have to have it connected to the um, to the mains all the time. So it's it's basically a portable light. It, it's just it's fantastic. So um, I just thought I'd share that with you. So scrap what I said about needing a power bank or you have to have it connected. Obviously, if you want it connected all the time, you can. It doesn't say you can't, but. Um, at the back here, you just turn this little switch, flick it off. So now, it doesn't work, it's off. Go back over here. Put it to the on position. And it comes up with a little alarm. Actually an alarm, it's got, a, it's got an alarm. This, so it's a bit, basically it's a, a light and an alarm clock in one. Um, Cause obviously everything you'd have an alarm clock you got here. Um, so it's just basically, it's a fantastic light. I'm actually even more impressed with it now. So, like I said, you've got your three settings, everything's the same, but obviously you don't have to have any power. You can see there's no power coming out at all. Um, and the light still works. I'm not sure how long the battery will last, but that is just brilliant. So I'm gonna turn it off now. And I'll add this and I'll edit the review to include this because obviously I was under the impression it was um, you had to have it plugged into 
via the, the connection on the outside to USB all the time, but that's not true. 